Okay, so here's what we've done today. As you can tell, there's something additional on the lane, and I'm not talking about you. Say hi. That's you should be very camera shy. Uh, for the most part, lanes, not too much has gone uh, differently. Uh, we did manage to get some more leveling done. We also, at the same time, put a little carpet squares down under all of the supports. Um, even I, Sorry for the uh, slightly different carpet in a couple of spots, but that's okay. The lane is level. We also have a little bit of a soft approach here with a leftover exercise mat. And we have uh, almost done a nice ball return. Abigail, let's see that ball return in action. She picks up the ball, puts it on the pit, and down it comes. I have to catch it because right now we don't have any walls, but we're working on that. So, Copper Day Castle, lanes are a good. Okay, so uh, we have finished for now the ball return, and we also have, uh, as mentioned earlier, we've Hello. also done. Hello. <laughs> we've also done uh, some carpeting underneath all of the supports. So as you can see, each one of these, and that is helping cut Hello. down on the dampening of the vibrations. We still have a little bit of vibrations we need to damp down here in the pit, even though we have our rubber backing here. I think what I'm gonna try to do is maybe use a uh, uh, use this on the reverse side and maybe use that to help cut down the vibrations. This does help a little bit inside, but I think I need, need a little bit more layer of protection. I also, in the back of the pit here, have used some electrical tape to kind of use this vibration dampening piece of carpet um, over here. And then this footstool is for my daughter, so she can use our new ball return. So. And this is what we have uh, finished with our ball return. We did have a video earlier. Uh, what we, what's new about this ball return now is if I were to put a ball on here right now, that ball would make it and would stay exactly in this nice new ball rack. So, <laughs> so in this ball rack, we have enough room just for the two that we have. Uh, what I did here was I actually had to raise this up a little higher because this was the old height. But if you saw in the last clip, the ball came here quite here, came through here at quite a clip. So I ended up building this up a little bit. You can see my amateur woodworking here. Um, and you also can see I've got some walls. These walls, I just glued on to the plywood, it's fine. Sophia is going to put another ball on the ball return. Let's see another one here. Let's see it come on and see how that comes to a nice rest. And it's, uh, the ni nice reason for that is I did use a layer of carpet as well here, and I just screwed it into the back here so it acts as a nice little bumper. And another ball has enough room to fit on here as well. And then what I did was I screwed the, I screwed the uh, uh, PVC pipe into the plywood as well. So our ball return is done. And next, uh, what we're gonna be doing in our next video, we have uh, on order some soundproofing stuff, uh, which we desperately, desperately need in this lane. All right, well, thanks a lot for watching and uh, have a nice day.